Hey guys, uh, I've got another YouTube video today which is more focusing on some of my overwintering species as adults. Now, um, here I've got two species in particular, which is this one here, which is Campbell Beauty, um, Nymphalis Anatopia, if I pronounced that right, from America. So this is like the American species or bloodline, I could say. And then I've also got, um, which is all these ones here, this is the peacock or the European peacock, which is a European and British butterfly, which is literally looks like a peacock because it's got eyes and everything. It's, most people would probably know what it looks like. So now all these are overwintering and um, when disturbed. That's a bad one, but it's got a bit of a wing in its wing, but they're very sleepy because they're practically sleeping. So they have this one was interesting. There you go, there's some colour. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. No. They are gonna be like this all winter and I do on nice days or warm days I would um, wake them up and give them a bit of a feed or an opportunity to feed so that they're not dying out um, they're kind of active they all kind of defend themselves if, if they have to or something like or if I'm out here walking or uh, not walking sorry uh, I, I kind of trying to get them to open their wings but the Campbell beauties are a lot different the well, Campbell beauties are, see these have got the wings which they uh, use to scare off predators and they make a sound, as you probably heard. Um, these guys have a different way of doing it. They act as if they're a piece of bark, because if you look at that, and if you didn't know, if we weren't normal, we would think that's just a, but if you annoy them enough, they will open their wings and you will get a nice butterfly but seeing as they're so they're very um sleepy so they don't open their wings much oh there you go look at that so there's a nice species now these peacocks feed on nettles and these ones here feed on sorry these ones here feed on uh, willows and sallows that kind of plant variation. Um, these ones here I will breed next year if I can and um, then let them go as a conservation kind of thing. But the, this guy is being a real pain. Never mind, I'm just going to let him sit down there. But these ones here, seeing as they're not from the UK, I cannot do that. So I will breed them and I maybe will look at maybe sending a few to America so that they can get them let go or something like that but sadly I won't be able to let them go here as it would probably be illegal because you wouldn't want to be introducing anything new into the UK climate so um, thank you for watching guys goodbye